Hi, scientists. Last week, we finished learning all about light. We learned so, so much about light, which means that this week, we are starting our brand new kit. And our new kit is called Plants and Animals. I love this kit so much. We're going to have so much fun together. So today, Miss Lambert is going to read the first part of our new book, Plants and Animals. And then after I read, I'm going to show you our first experiment. So let's get ready to read. Plants and Animals. We're going to read the first section together called, What Do Plants Need? Now we can see on this side of our book, we have the table of contents. We can kind of see some of the things that we will be learning. Okay, what do plants need? Many people grow plants. They grow plants in pots and window boxes. They grow plants in gardens and on farms. Farmers grow plants to sell. They know the basic needs of plants. Plants need water. Their roots take up water. Water travels from the roots to the stems, leaves, and flower. Let's take a peek at this picture right here. So we can see a beautiful plant or flower growing. I can see the dirt or the soil. And underground, I can see the roots. This is the part of the plant that soaks up the water. Plants need nutrients. Nutrients come from the soil. Water carries the nutrients through the plants. Nutrients is kind of like food for plants. So their food comes from the soil. Plants need light and air. Their leaves capture light. Green leaves use sunlight and air to make food. Plants need food to grow. So sunlight and fresh air are also food for plants. And let's see what else plants need. Plants need space. Roots need space to grow. Crowded roots can't get enough water and nutrients. Crowded leaves can't get enough sunlight. So when we plant different flowers and plants, we need to make sure they have space to spread out so that they're not all tight next to each other. Does this plant have what it needs to grow? Hmm, I can see it has a lot of space to spread out. I can see it has some nice soil to get all those nutrients. And I can see that the soil looks wet. So this boy probably watered the plant. And I can observe that he's planting it outside. So that means the plant's gonna have nice fresh air and it's gonna get sunlight. All right, let's think about what plants need. So what are the basic needs of plants? Soil, fresh air, water, sunlight. What part of the plant takes up water? Do you remember what part soaks up the water? It's called the roots. Where do nutrients come from? We learned that nutrients come from the soil. What part of a plant captures light? What part of the plant soaks in the light? That's going to be the leaves of the plant. All right, we're gonna stop our reading here. And next, Ms. Lambert's gonna make a video of our first experiment where you can just watch me, or if you have some stuff at home to do it, you can follow along with Ms. Lambert. I'll see you there.